Brandon told me what you did for him. No, he told me the truth. I was just hoping that maybe he could do the same for me. So whether I liked it or not, I was open for business. 20% off to Bath and Body Works? Is that how much our imaginary trust spent to you? I fake rocked your world. Yeah, all those girls I slept with. Just a lot to get a reputation on this site. That's it. What? Um, Who'd you sleep with? Five thousand of them. <laughs> all I see you sleeping with at night is your cat. Okay. The only all, you all this in that bed. footage and pictures that I have. Okay, only the good-looking girls I'm lying about. <laughs> so, so Easy A is not about your failed rap career. I really went in this thinking that, that it was stand, it stood for Easy Ass. Easy Ass. Which, <laughs> which, which it, which it kind of is. I mean, it's easy in that you know you get a, a twenty-dollar McDonald's gift card and uh, you don't even got to worry about. Uh, you know, performance anxiety because you just go around and say whatever you want. That's the lamest deal ever. <laughs> hey, I'll pay you a hundred bucks not to fuck me. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm sorry. I get that for free every day. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of girls getting that free deal. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I guess it's different if you're in high school, though, because in high school, you're trying to get that reputation going. And you can beat a woman then. No oh, oh, yeah. You know, you, you're just a minor then. Everybody's going to really take it to real court. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris Brown's doing it. Why can't you? <laughs> yeah, you just I'm about as cool as him. No, we got Emma Stone in this movie. The reason why it's called Easy is because she's a student in school who she's not really the most noticeable of students, which I don't know why because she's fucking hot. I mean, she is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why would no one recognize her? In fact, guys would be hitting on her because they would think like she's that smart, hot chick. You know, the kid, she's nerdy, she's hot, but it's like, oh, you know, you, 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 you're you going to rebel at some point if I keep asking. Yeah, we wouldn't even yeah. bother to do the 80s trick of tying her hair back and giving her glasses. You know, it's like we'd know. still know that she's hot underneath them and at some yeah. point in slow motion she's going to whip out that hair and pull the glasses off and we'll get, boing, it's a boner. <laughs> yeah. But here, they didn't bother. They're yeah, just like, this, look, we told you she's a nerd. She's a nerd. This, this takes yeah. place in the land of make believe. It's, it's, it's one of those fantasy high schools where everybody in the, in it is 28 years old and they all look like models. It's a school. You're right. Where people either look like they are 28 years old or they look like they're 12. You know, it's like there's apparently there's no like uh, ninth, tenth, or eleventh grade here. You're either like a senior <laughs> or you're a, a junior high school school yeah. student. And, 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 and sitcom actors are a part of the faculty. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's it it. it Baffled me for about a minute. I'm just like, okay, you know, I'm gonna go with it, whatever. But she decides, okay, yeah, I'm the, I'm the, the, the kid that nobody notices. And again, why would nobody notice her? Because she's hanging out with the hottest girl in school. I mean, this girl walks around with her rack hanging out. Yeah. You, you know, with the, you know, you remember the girl? Uh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ali yeah, Michelle. Yeah, exactly. She, her her <laughs> yeah. breasts well, took up eighty percent. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's funny because the 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 girl playing her best friend is Ali Michalka. Yeah. And that song that, that she keeps singing that she can't get out of her head. That song Escape is sung by Ali oh, Michalka. That's the product placement. Uh, yeah. I knew it had. To, I thought it was maybe Amanda Bynes. Yeah, because you notice how like they like it played a, a big part. Like she just couldn't stop singing that song. They kept playing it, Jeez. but yet it had played no part in the plot at all. <laughs> Well, hey, it, worked, <laughs> it worked on me because I was singing that shit when I was leaving the theater. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, God damn it. Uh, so, I, yeah, again, uh, there's no reason why the girl shouldn't be noticed. She's got a hot friend. She's hot herself, but nobody notices her. But her friend is telling her, like, you know something? I bet that you have lost your virginity. And she keeps asking her. And she's like, oh, come on. You said you were hanging out this weekend with a guy because she don't want to go camping with her and, her, and with her yeah, best friend and her, 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 her hippie parents. Hippie parents. Yeah, she just doesn't want to hang out with her best friend. So she makes up this whole thing of like, yeah, I was staying at home with a guy in, uh, who goes to community college. And, of course, a little loud mouth, big titty friend goes around school and tells everybody that she lost her virginity. All of a sudden, she's popular. And she has a gay friend who's like, you know what? Uh being stanky work for you. Let's just say we fucked each other and maybe that'll keep people from beating me up. And they decide to concoct this whole thing of going into a room, making a lot of noise and pretending like they had sex. Well, of course, from this point on, she's a slut and I guess in high school, I didn't go to this high school, you know, that was a great thing, but apparently in this high school, in this world, that's a wonderful thing that would just put you at the top of the popularity contest. Sort of. I mean, even from the beginning, it's a mixed bag. I mean, not only are the right-wing Christian girls, Amanda Bynes and her little crowd, looking their noses down at her, but there are other people, too. I mean, there's that sort of, it's notoriety, it's not really popularity, and as it goes on, it's less popularity and more notoriety, until it's just 
outright loathing. Well, we know that at some point this can't work. Plus, it's a movie, and anytime yeah. you tell a lie in a movie, it always gets exposed. Well, yeah, she thinks mm-hmm. it's cool because she got every guy walking up to her with his penis hanging out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I mean, I, 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 I'm sorry, but it's high school, and it's high school these days. There ain't just one slut in any high school. No, there's I mean, a she whole group. There's a whole group of them. Yeah, she would just be one show. of many. Oh yeah. Where is this high school at? <laughs> America, <laughs> all over really? this country. God I, damn it. How many twelve year old mothers do we have now? Yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure you passed the test. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is there room for one more? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seriously, man. It's got a point where it's freaking me out. I'm like, I don't want point as I was when I was in high school. I wouldn't have wanted it to be that bad. <laughs> you know, it's freaking me out. Hey, let me tell you something. Dog, we heard you like children, so we put a child in your child. So I'm like a parent, like a parent. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus, we 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 hear from your teacher. You didn't you didn't do your homework. It's like who's got time with all the blowjobs I'm getting? <laughs> I'm telling you what. Let me tell you something. I took my mom to prom and nobody knew the difference at all. Uh, <laughs> did she put out <laughs> for the football team? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get any of that night. Goddamn. That's what all the half brothers thing is. <laughs> mom, come on. <laughs> but, but no, it's oh, not. No. <laughs> yeah, not fair. Damn it. Your mom's cool, dude. You know what, you know what Coleman? I thought you was a punk, but your mom is hot. <laughs> That's the only thing that kept me from getting beat up in high school that my mom put out to the whole football team. But no, I, I, the thing that really gets her in trouble, though, is like she could stop early, but she likes it. And because she your likes mom? it, yeah, yo, man, let's go to that. Let's get off the that. Because that, 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 that. Yeah, yeah. Confused, uh, no, she's, she, uh, she begins to kind of like it. And then these guys. So wait, wait, wait. Get, to be clear, no, you're saying it. She likes the, the idea of having that reputation. Oh, yeah. She likes it. Yeah. And, and, and what she really likes is helping these people out. Well, she starts to realize, okay, maybe this isn't a good thing. You know, after days, she's like, ah, it was fun, but whatever. But then these desperate guys come up who are like, you know, I'm fat, I'm Indian, I'm uh, with a with a bad accent, and I I really need your help. I will pay you if you would. You know, not have sex with me, but if you do what you did with the other guy, if you tell just people tell people sex. that we did this thing, well, not even let me even, say that we had sex. I just got the not. third base or yeah. something, so yeah. She, gladly pay you Tuesday. If, you I, I, would, yeah, I would gladly pay you Tuesday for a rumor today. I think she'd still be doing it if she had had a business manager, because the problem was that she's accepting gift cards and shit from people and coupons. You're like, come on, really? I mean, these guys can afford a gift card; they can afford cash. Yeah, but cash you got to report to the IRS. <laughs> this way it's completely under the Not table. When you're in high school. <laughs> yeah, no, she she it, it, it quickly spins out of control and it's only a matter of time before the whole thing comes collapsing down on her. Wackiness and, and wackiness ensues and all that good stuff. Well, I I can tell you that like, uh, one of the the big pluses with the movie is the writing and the fact that like Emma Stone's character, not only is she, you know, she's charming, but she's smarter than most. Like they they talk about how she talks like an adult. So she she's a she's an intellectual, she's got Parents who have a, a heightened sense of humor, and it, and it's that humor that that pulls it along. You're like, you know what? This is not a dumb movie, but at the same time, it's like she's supposed to be like a girl who's young who thinks like an adult. But it's hard to like look at Emma Stone and not go, yeah, but she really is an adult. So she's this acting like a high school student. It's hard to it's hard to buy it. And as much as you go along with the movie and enjoy it for what it is, I found it like toward the last 15 minutes. It, it was stayed grounded up until then, and it just goes completely into fantasy land for the for the wrap up. And it's just like, damn! I was really hoping y'all were going to find a smarter way to put. That's what it this. is. It starts out already kind of exaggerating. It's like, all right, this is a movie. I can take it, whatever. But then it becomes so exaggerated that I, I felt like it just wasn't tight. It was, right. th- there was a point where there was supposed to be some kind of message here, or there was this this idea seemed like it was supposed to be somewhat smarter, but it plays out in a way where. Not only is it becomes too exaggerated itself, but the characters in this movie, like, look, you know, I'd be the last one to get up and like defend religion, but the Christians in this movie were some of the most uh, outlandish characters. I mean, they do that whole thing of like being blustery. Well, it is funny how like you know movies that that do like to lampoon Christians, they they take it to the point to where they're just cartoon characters, and they kind of dilute their message. And I mean, these characters are so exaggerated that they just. Bad actors. I mean, Amanda Bynes is the leader of the of, of these of this Christian group that you know her whole mission is to just give Emma Stone a hard time because her soul needs to be saved. That's her project. And you know, Emma Stone. I mean, uh, uh, em, uh, Amanda, what the fuck is her name? Amanda Bynes. <laughs> Amanda Bynes. Uh, Amanda Bynes. Amanda, she, <laughs> Amanda Stone. Amanda Blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but but she but she does that. She, <laughs> her way of being exasperated by Emma Stone is to just shake her head and buck her eyes real big and like oh, I never and walk off. I'm like ah, you know this character. Because you're trying to make a satire, it should have been written just a little bit smarter. Uh, what you heard in the bathroom the other day wasn't true at all. Um, it's actually a funny story. I'll live. 
That's your name, right? Yeah, yeah, and you're Marianne. Uh, we've had nine classes together since kindergarten. Ten, if you count religion of other cultures, which you didn't because you called it science fiction and refused to go. Yeah. Listen, I'm not the one that you have to answer to for your depraved behavior. There's a higher power that will judge you for your indecency. Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. I hope for your sake that God has a sense of humor. Oh, I have 17 years worth of anecdotal proof he does. <laughs> you've made your bed. I just hope for your sake that you've cleaned the sheets. Did I just get saved? I've met people exactly like that. Of course I'm you so have. I'm sorry, <laughs> but that wasn't too far from the truth. That being said, everyone in this movie except for uh, Emma Stone is an exaggerated as hell uh, car mm -hmm. caricature. I mean, she's supposed to be the smart one. They give her all the punch, her and her parents, all the punchy fun dialogue to establish, wow, these are really clever people. Whereas everyone else is just kind of like a cardboard cutout of what you expect from certain types of people yeah. in high school in many ways. But the film also also makes a point right from the beginning of of crediting where what it's trying to be, which is a John Hughes '80s film, right? Now, it which was like a, yeah. exactly the same way. Yeah, it, it really was. It yeah. just this just isn't as good as those films, really, because yeah, it felt it definitely felt like it was a love letter to the John Hughes. Film. Oh, definitely. But you oh, know, what? It was I found more than that. well, there's a I, segment I, in there where they do a whole montage oh, of, of John Hughes films. Right. So they, yeah, they but you know what? Sleep, it, 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 at least those segments of the, when it happened. I was really loving the film. I really was enjoying the dialogue. I even liked the characters for what they were. I mean, it kind of reminded me of a saved uh, type film where. Yeah, oh, I thought you were going to say Saved by the Bell. No, no. no. <laughs> I, was like, I wish no, to see, yeah, to see what happened in this film. You know, it happened in Saved by the Bell, an episode that would have been great. Yeah, Emma Stone's going to uh, be in Showgirls yeah. too. No, but I, I thought that uh, I, I really thought a lot of the dog, I, the dog, a lot of the dialogue was real, just <laughs> smart and you know, just witty. And I was, I was going along for the whole ride where I like every little minor character that appeared in the film. They had me laughing. I mean, I was really thoroughly entertained by this film and. You know, I, I, I like the idea of what the film was trying to do. And I like the fact that, you know, the love interest, much like in 16 Candles, has nothing to do with anything. He's really just there to serve the character advancement of the main right. character. You know, we don't want to know more about him. Yeah. It's not necessary, really. And, well, and, I, and that's I, what I like. I, well, well, I like the fact that you, they didn't introduce you to this character that, you know, you follow through throughout the entire movie. He's just somebody that pops in and out that you can tell, you know, has some kind of history with this main character. I, I, I don't know. I, I had to crack up at how he was supposed to be kind of like kept to himself and, and somewhat dorky, yet he was the most handsome guy at school. Like, he, like he, everybody would have known his name and been all on his dick. Yeah, we <laughs> already established that, that he's in the he land of make -believe. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's the problem with this movie. That's what I mean by exaggerated. This, this, there are two things with this film that I don't, want, I don't know. If, I don't know if I want to say bother me, but would just stood out to me as trying a little bit too hard. One was that guy, Penn Badgley is his name, is is the the romantic lead in this movie. And I like that they, they tried to like go against type so hard because he is he's the most handsome guy in school, but yet everything he does has to be in costume as if they have to like say, <laughs> right. look, he's a normal guy. Like he's the mascot at school. He has to work at Red Lobster or Red Lobster knockoff wearing a stupid uh, crawfish hat. And I'm like thinking, man, come on, you know, you can... They, 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 we already had a scene with his shirt off. He's muscular and shit. This yeah. guy, this guy would like never. A superhero. He would never do this shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe that at all. Actually, what I get what I get out of that is they were trying to say that this is a guy that's perfect for her because he doesn't care about reputation. That doesn't matter to him. He's willing to make a fool of himself, and he knows none of that matters because who he is inside is a different guy. That is completely what I got from yeah, yeah, what the and, film was drawing. And, no, no. And, I, you know, and the thing is, I've known guys like that. I mean, just I mean, we've all known that one guy who you're like. How come he's not hanging out with that cool crowd? Why yeah. is he just kind of hanging out with these schlubs and that you know? What, 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 what's he trying to do? Let me what, tell you what's something. His, what's his angle? Every time <laughs> I know a guy like that, he was a stoner. Yeah. I, in high school, I never hung out with mascots. They were below me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that guy, we, we don't want to talk about who you hung out. with. Like he used to beat them up. I used to. <laughs> <laughs> of course, like when I was in high school, I didn't hang out with the cool people either. I, didn't hang out with no I was one. playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I had to you take hung my out with your mom. All right. <laughs> I had to take my anger out on somebody. Hey, you in the dog costume? Come here, you son of a bitch. Only person lower on the totem. <laughs> I mean, this 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 guy. It was too obvious that they were just trying to make him the dork, and he's not a dork. Okay. I didn't get that I, I, I thought they tried to. I mean, yeah, I, they, yeah, I felt like they... in there that was supposed to be dorky. 
no, the, 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 the fact that, that everybody left him alone, like like he had no not 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 only did he not have a clique, he had no friends. Well, they didn't really establish mm-hmm. anything about him on that level. That's then, what I'm saying. Yeah, the can't, that's the what can't, I, we yeah, were saying is that the fact that they didn't tell you much at all. You only saw him in passing here and there. Mm-hmm. They don't and, get into. And every time I saw that, him, not a plus. And you know what? Every time I, I saw him, he would. Yeah. Every time I saw that guy, he was wearing a dorky costume, a dorky uniform. He was just shy of being the janitor in the movie too. So I mean, I'm just like, I don't, I, I don't get this. I don't now, know. That would have been awesome. I, I wish you <laughs> see you, Olive. Well, <laughs> He's cleaning you, toilets. If you paid attention, I mean, he was he was like practically naked, covered in blue paint until the Christians came in and fucked up his gig. So you know that wasn't his fault. Once again, I mean, Christians wah. screwed it up. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, they practically crucified him, nailed him to a cross. Know, just because a guy works at the local red lobster doesn't make him a bad guy it doesn't make, it's not like you know i'm just doing this because i don't i'm sick of being cool all the time i'm just gonna work i want you to go the we, guy we, needs to eat i didn't we, make we know you work at a red lobster cool. it's cool hey, I'm <laughs> working at the red lobster. that's kind of fun you go back to red lobster and, and i'm don't mean to offend anybody that has worked at Red Lobster in, but in, you're, in high school. We don't, don't want to offend the losers, losers that work at no, Red but Lobster. I, I'd like for anybody to put this to the test. Go to Red Lobster or any fast food place and look for that hot high school student <laughs> that's working there. I challenge you. Now, a girl, maybe, but there is never a hot dude that's working at any fast food joint. He's always that guy who's getting your burgers. <laughs> but, I mean, the other thing that bothered me about this movie is that it has an extremely liberal slant to it. I mean, everything they do is trying to tell you, look how liberal this movie is. Stanley Tucci and Patricia Clark's and our Emma Stone's parents in the movie and they are so liberal right down to we don't punish our kid to look we've adopted a little black child <laughs> and every time Stanley Tucci came on screen he had that little kid wrapped around his neck or that little black even, or he was wearing him like a hat or, or petting him like a cat <laughs> well, the guy can't love his son what are you saying <laughs> Wait, where are you going with this well, Corey well, saying well, that a black pam- kid can't ever truly love white parents he was clearly well, saying well, some weird liberal <laughs> fantasy well, and plus it, 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 he's saying that he went out Stanley Tucci went out one day and PetSmart was closed so he adopted a black kid <laughs> um, but, but they, wow. they, they are liberal to the point does this one come with a cage they're, they're liberal to the point of being like even more liberal than, than hippies they're like intellectual liberals and whatever their daughter does they don't get upset. They just smile and laugh and make jokes about it and just keep on well, going. Well, the movie seems to be telling you itself, like, oh, look, we love all races of people. Oh, look, it's okay to be gay. Oh, look, we uh, we, we, are, we we teach our kid by kindness, not punishment. It's like, god damn, man, you know, this really is a, a, a beat-me-over-the-head lesson in liberal politics. And I, I, it doesn't bother me, but it is very noticeable, and it, it almost is bothering me. Man, it's a liberal film, but... But I beat you over the head with liberal politics. I mean, <laughs> I mean, well, maybe now he's, with, I, I have to agree with Corey yeah, on that. No, I, 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 you know, when I say politics, I'm not talking about politics as in you know the no, government. I'm yeah, talking no, about not, not like yeah, vote so, with John exactly Kerry. social politics. Yeah, exactly. Hey, look, and, despite all that bullshit, it was funny. I'm sorry. It was you a know, funny movie. I, I love the parents. Yeah, I you can they, read I, into I thought whatever they were really you want. Spot on. And the thing fun. is, is that you know it did make sense because if you paid attention to the movie, you know they went into detail about what they were like when they were kids, and it kind of made perfect sense. You know how they were acting. It's not like well, we're just going to act like this because it's written here on the script. No, I mean they made. I thought they fleshed out those parents pretty damn well in and, a very entertaining uh, and, and, way. Yeah. I'm talking about how liberal they are, but I, it's not just them that were liberal in the movie. I'm talking about just. A lot of things that happened in the film. I liked them in the film. I mean, how can you not like Stanley Tucci? I mean, you know, I love. I thought them. they were funny as hell because of the characters they had written for them. I mean, I guess I don't understand. I'm like, so it's a movie that went a different way. I don't think that's really beating you over the head with any sort of specific message. It was like, okay, this is a really different scene going on here because there are scenes like that. It's there not, are it, white liberal couples who act like that with their kids who adopt black children. I mean, I don't understand why that's so weird. You really don't, don't understand what we're talking I, about? No, I really don't. Because it's, well. it's not simply going a different way. I mean, he, he's right about like most films you see don't really push that agenda so hard. I don't look at it as an agenda. I just look at it as the, I, because, I, because, yes. because you're, because you're so in are, step with it. You, you, so you just like, well, yeah, of course that's how well, it is. Considered that maybe that you're not in step with it, and so you don't haven't seen it as much in your life, and so you're like, wow, that's unrealistic. I'm like, wow, I have seen that. It's not anything that was terrible. It's just yeah, in the oh, context I, I've of certainly thing. seen worse. And I, and for all of the negative stuff you, I'm saying, I really did enjoy the film. But as far as attacking the religious people, it's one thing where they made the students so goofy because you you could kind of go like, well, they're high school students. They 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 stream about everything. But even when Emma Stone travels to you know more adult established 
or, or religious places to get solace. Even those are treated like, wow, she's ignored here, and then this guy's fucked up. It's like, you know, it's like there was no place where religion was treated with anything but disdain. Yeah, and I, and I thought they were, they were going to do that. They, that they were actually, well, I don't want to ruin anything in the movie, but I see what you're saying. I, and I thought that that's where they were going to like kind of remedy what I saw, and, yeah. and, and, and it only made it worse. Right. They didn't really disdain it so much as say that she didn't find any answers there, and I think there is a, a distinct difference. And, I, you know, let's jump out of that arena and, and, and let's talk about just another thing that didn't make sense to me. I mean, Malcolm McDowell, who's in the movie as the principal, pulls her aside and says, if you use the word twat again, I'm going to expel you. But yet she can like go the whole year dressed up like a hooker and nobody says anything. I mean, it's uh, like that though, that didn't, just didn't bother me. Once again, I'm like in the context of the film and how exaggerated everything is and how it's playing it for laughs. Mm-hmm. I don't even understand how you could let something like that. Bother yeah, because you are, I, 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 I got to step back to the Cyrus side on this. I mean, <laughs> because it's, the, the, the it's, it's a of matter of writing consistency. That's all. I, I mean, it's like, that that it's like, I mean, I thought she's she could, barely he, a character. in this. Well, no, it's not. It's not. It's not so much him. It's just that, like, like I said, it's like, hey, you know, this girl is going to school. I mean, she's dressed up pretty much in lingerie. And yet this one word was going to kick, get a kicked out. Well, I thought that, that time you went to uh, high school. Uh, have, you <laughs> noticed, have you noticed how 14 year old girls are dressed? Oh, he noticed. Oh, yeah. Believe me. She was an athlete. Far off. Me, uh, Malcolm McDowell was fucking fantastic in this movie. I honestly wanted more of it. You know what? I, yeah, Malcolm McDowell has had years of being just like, like the worst actor. Like whenever he shows up in a movie, you go, he's grown. Like man. But in the last few years, somehow he's like found his chops and been good. Oh, yeah. But he's only in this for like just barely even a minute. And that's and enough. He's great. I mean, he had he yeah, had. Me you know, that could be the thing. Off. It could have been like if yeah. they gone one more minute, I'd been reversing everything I said. The yeah. character, adult character who does seem interesting here, who felt like he should have had a bigger part, was Thomas Hayden Church. Yeah. Because it yeah. really felt like the connection in this film and. Really Really, sort of the you know the that moment of epiphany for her is going to come from him. And yeah, that whole storyline just never really plays out. It, in, yeah, in the, it, in the way that you expect, and not in any sort of satisfying way. Right, it fizzled in an unsatisfying way where it had so much potential. Well, it felt like the last third of the movie was suddenly they went, oh, we got to hit every single one of these John Hughes tropes before the movie is over, even if they don't really have anything to do with what's going on. Well, I tell as you, long yeah. as we point out that they don't have anything to do with <laughs> yeah. what's going on, it'll be funny. But it's just kind. Kind of like okay, let's get past. That, that was my only disappointment with that. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, you know, I I actually like uh, Thomas Hayden Church and Lisa Kudrow, who played a married couple at school. I, I yeah, well, it wasn't too deep, and maybe they could have fleshed out a little bit more. But I like the turn that those characters took because I I just didn't see it coming. It it just disappoints me because this is a movie where in the beginning I liked it more. Than I did as it went along, especially at the end when they have a dance number that I thought was completely horrible. Yeah, but. that's one of those tropes I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah that to, to me that was like, you know what? I, I think I really like this film. That was when I'm like, all right, you guys just had to blow it, didn't you? We yeah. knew yeah. it was Damn. coming. They even said yeah. <laughs> earlier that it was coming, and I was like, God damn it, they are going to yeah. do a musical number at some yeah. point. Yeah. Uh, to me, watch this movie is like seeing Emma Stone fulfill her destiny to become the new Lindsay Lohan because okay. this was so like Mean Girls, except I, not quite as good. It just didn't have you know the as sharp writing. It wasn't as tight. Uh, and despite all the flaws I talked about, I still mostly liked it, except for that crowbar scene, which really knocked it down to a low matinee for me. Yeah, it's funny. I I was thinking the exact same thing in that uh, it's so calculatedly supposed to be her breakout. This is my Mean Girls film. I mean, I have no question that in the writing room. They they were told from the get-go, this is what we're looking for oh, yeah. for, for Emma Stone. And you know what? On the whole, for her as an actress, it does work. I think audiences are going to respond to her in that way and go, wow, finally someone can pick up where Lindsay Lohan left off right before she left to go do that line of cocaine. <laughs> 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 you know? uh, and, but I think I liked, it. I liked it more than you did. I didn't have a lot of the problems you did with the themes in it at all. I thought it was in jo- generally a really enjoyable, silly comedy. Uh, it's certainly could have been better and tighter and the ending kind of falls apart but uh, it's a matinee okay well shit I, I, i'm giving it a full price only because i laughed my ass off throughout the whole thing I, I thought i thought the dialogue was witty i actually liked all the characters even even the uh, ridiculous christians i i honestly liked them and uh yeah i mean i wasn't going in there with any real kind of expectations but emma stone really carries this entire movie which you know i, I thought that was the, supposed to be the point of the film as far as just realizing what she was doing for these people and you know dealing with the consequences but you know it, it was a it, it's it's actually like the funnest film i've seen in a while quite a while and uh, i'm giving a full price yeah. 
Sorry. Sorry, Corey. Now back to why you. Yeah. Why do you always look at me like I'm always going to dispute you or something? You, you give me those goddamn puppy dog eyes. Are you okay? I'm, I'm just okay. It is and like, co- co-host, I love you. I'm your creator, and I don't want to hurt you. I know. And yet, <laughs> dot, 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 dot. I'm looking at you like whenever you disagree with me, yeah. you're dead to me, co-host. You be- this, is a betray- this is a betrayal. You're dead to me. I just to give you a double take because I look, I look at these guys, and I'm like, all right, and then I look at you. Like, huh? <laughs> I'm just, I'm, man, I'm just, I'm just being polite, trying to wait for you to finish. And you looking at me like, yeah, bitch, what you think about that? He's putting bullets Take in his gun. Take it. <laughs> Damn, yeah, yeah. Y'all making it sound like yeah. uh, Emma Stone is like standing outside the set when Lindsay Lohan shows up on audition and she hits her with a tranquilizer gun to get her drunk and shit. Why would you need <laughs> Yeah, she's already, exactly. she's already drunk. Well, that's the thing. She, she and, might just stand and look at her and go like, well... This is awkward. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's still a shot, shot her with a, a tranquilizer gun. Lindsay Lohan would look at her and go, is that all you got? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> She'd pick it out and suck the tip and look, mm, <laughs> I had three of these for breakfast. No, <laughs> she's going to light up the end of it. No, you know, I, um, I, I, I thought that this was just totally ridiculous. And I, I don't know what even you, Leon, uh, sees in anything outside of uh, the, you know just the obvious in this which is pure you ridiculous you are so full of shit I know I know I know I know I know yeah. closest to probably whatever he I know, I know. I don't, to give I, shit to we went on so long I don't even know what you what you gave it but I know I, you're not that bright but come on. <laughs> hey stupid I'm gonna trick you with my rating I expected of these dummies you'd be the least dummy <laughs> this is a betrayal Leon you should've went with it nah man I, I, I like the movie I do I, I wish you could've gave me more in 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 the writing, I wish it could have been just a tad bit sharper. But yeah, I, I, all the characters, even the exaggerated ones, I did like at some point. If nothing else, they just made me laugh. So I give it a mad name. Okay, and, so you gave it the same rating as I did. What was all that? <laughs> no, I, that's what I'm saying. You know, rating you, Leon, you, I keep telling you like that. <laughs> I keep telling like throughout the well, I thought a whole review. I keep having to look at you and say I like this. It's not bad, and I can like Are you sure I, really because I hate to hear what you say about something you don't like. <laughs> no, seriously, you you dog this movie throughout the entire well, I, review. You know, I, I don't know. The, the guy who directed this is a guy named Will Will Luck. I think that's his name. Will, oh, that's Will Luck. Yeah, I know. Yeah, damn. I hope he's not gay because <laughs> that's a name that fits for that. <laughs> hey, Will Luck. But no, I didn't start out gay until people found out my last name. <laughs> no, his. his <laughs> His last movie was fired up, and I liked this movie much better than I liked his last film. We were talking about this before we started. What the hell is up with Amanda Bynes' head? Yeah, something's yeah. wrong. Man. Yeah, I mean, it's all, it's, <laughs> it's, like it's really face. swollen. And at first you see her face, and you're like, oh, man, she's been a lot of weight. But then you see her body, and it's skinny and tight. Yeah, so no, I, it, It's like her face is trying to swallow up her eyes. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, yeah. it's like there's some kind of black hole about to start. She looks, she's yeah. having an allergic reaction to not being the leading role. <laughs> <laughs> in anything, yeah. She looks like an Applehead doll. <laughs> you know, got like, like a Bratz doll. Like a, yeah, she does. She looks. She, somebody could cast her in Bratz and have no prosthetic makeup at all. Shit, she looks like she's... where her career is coming from. <laughs> Special Bratz plastic surgery. Hey, maybe that's it. She got offered a role in Bratz too, and she's just sitting around waiting for the <laughs> wait, waiting for the funding to come through. Yeah, she, <laughs> back to that else, she knows that. Did you know how long she has in this career? She's storing nuts for the winter. <laughs> I think I saw a couple of nuts spit out of mouth when in the season when Emma Stone. That, that poor girl. It's one thing to store nuts in your cheek, but in the rest of your head. Your forehead, <laughs> yeah. I had a similar situation when I was your age. I had a horrible reputation. Why? Because I slept with a whole bunch of people. Mostly guys. Mom!